guys so welcome back to my channel I know the lighting currently really sucks I'm gonna go ahead and just pop one of these little ring lights that I have is that better okay so I'm actually doing a DIY right now I do my own mask and I decided to show you guys earlier on one of my channels on one of my channel on my channel I ended up filming it but it was kind of the dark mode so I just want to show you guys how I'm doing it so we're gonna go ahead and just so as you can see, I have a rectangle piece of cloth as well as another large one. Now, so I like layering mine up times two so it makes it more difficult. So a lot of, um, I've been seeing a lot of people that grab a lighter and they try blowing. Like if you could blow the lighter, then you know that's not a good mask. So I double up on my cloth so it's a good mask. So let me show you guys how I do it. So once I've cut my cloth, I go ahead and layer the thicker one that I have. And we're gonna glue this completely. This is without any sewing because one, I don't have a sewing machine. Two, they're expensive. Three, you could also sew by hand, but that takes that's too much kind time consuming. So we're gonna go ahead and do it this way. So I have my glue gun, which is a cheap one. I got it at the dollar store. So you could go ahead and buy yourself one at the dollar store. It's only literally a dollar, and the glues, which is a dollar, so save some money so what we're gonna go ahead and do is you want to center it and you want to make sure that you put it like glue it in this little area you don't need a lot of glue you know put a little bit of a dot right there and then just glue that dot oh she hot Alrighty now the good thing about using glue is that it dries really fast so you have you know you're working with something really fast so we have this going on so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually seal this up. So I'm going to go ahead and pinch it down like this. And just grasp it there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and glue whatever's left on here. Just glue it like that. Hopefully this is not confusing and I'm doing this right so you guys can know. You could obviously go a little larger. It all depends on you. This is one that I did. This one's completely, honestly, like, see-through. You could put a cloth under this. It's like my walking to the park one. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and cut all the excess little glues that are there because I'm not perfect. I mean, this is my mask. No one else is going to use it. It's only for myself. If you are a perfectionist, then make sure you cut everything right and use a ruler and, you know, have everything nice and neat. I'm not a perfectionist. So I'm okay with it. Alrighty now. As you can tell, it looks pretty cool. Definitely, this is a little bit bigger than what I actually wear. And it's actually very, very thick. So, um, I don't know if you can hear me. But it's actually too big for my face. So, um, I'm going to make a smaller one. But, yeah, this is really easy, you guys. And it literally takes you, like, 15 minutes or less to do one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.